Hello, I'm Craig Benzine. And I'm Matt Weber. And together, together we, we are, are Craig Webzine. Ben Benzer. This is Topic Town. Yep. Intro. Hmm? So, what are we talking about today, well, Matthew? We gotta get some things out of the way. Oh, we do? What? Well, first of all, uh, we forgot to thank somebody for uh, giving us the idea to do the ASMR video oh. that we did uh, a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, someone, someone gave a uh, comment about it, and that's what inspired us to do it. it and was, we forgot to mention. Yeah, it's, thank you, Corey Lanuski. Corey Lanuski. Yeah, I think he commented on Facebook about it, and that, that's what... It, actually, David saw your comment and then came to us about it and uh, told history, us about his, history his was made. secret mm -hmm. ASMR addiction. So, so we got that out of the way. What are we talking about today? Well, we were gonna. I think we were gonna respond to a couple comments. Oh, we're gonna do that. I'll do that at the end. We'll do that, we'll do that at the end. end. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, you you probably notice this video is it looks a little different. It should anyway. Yeah. 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 Do we look? Do we look what amazing? Does it look like we are like sitting right there with you, in yeah. your, in your on your helipad? Are you really creeped out right now? I would be. <laughs> yeah. The reason it should look different is because we are shooting this video. We usually shoot in 24 frames per second. We are shooting in 60 frames per second. Mm-hmm. What does that even... What does that mean? What does it mean? Yeah. 24, well, 60... Yeah. These numbers all coming out of nowhere. Well, Matt, way back in the beginning of cinema, someone decided that 24 frames per second was the way to go. Yeah. Uh, when they made movies. And that means... You're seeing 24 images flash before you. Every per, second. Every second. Okay. I'm, I follow you. Mm -hmm. And But then when video, television and video came around, those tended to be 30 frames per second. Yeah, or 29.97 for some mm -hmm. reason. I don't know why they, they, they changed it, but they did. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. And, and this is... This is particularly in uh, the U.S. is when it was 24. I, there might have been... It might have yeah. been different frames in other places. Well, yeah. Well, there's like uh, PAL. That's like 25. PAL. Yeah. 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 Um, but... Uh, now cameras can go 60 frames per second. Yeah. Uh, in the past, like, 10 years or so, it's become more commonplace. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's pretty simple to switch between the frames. Yeah, it the frame is. frame rates. Um, and it's, there's some controversy around it, because, mm -hmm. and I will explain my, my feelings on the subject, but do you have anything to say first? Well, uh... Well, okay, so we're talking about, like, 24 frames versus 60 frames. Mm -hmm. And... There's an argument on both sides of which one's better and which one is worse. I'm out of coffee. Um, and oh, all right, <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Tom's over. Yeah. No, no, continue, please. Um, so there's an argument on both sides about which one is better. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think we're on one side and there's other people on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's let's first objectively talk about like what the difference is like mm -hmm. why why does 24 frames matter versus 60 frames yeah. if you go if you go to our previous videos you can see that those are 24 frames yeah. and you can see the difference if i guess it'll carry over if we convert it properly uh, yeah. and put it on youtube yeah uh um we well, yeah everything we do on the good stuff is 24 frames per second yes um because we have a particular we have uh, a bias bias for 24 yeah. frames um and this, these are some of the qualities of 24 frames per second. Obviously, less there's less frames um, per second. Mm -hmm. So that means you're actually getting less of the image per per second. Um, there's a lot there's a lot more motion blur. Um, it's a mm -hmm. little choppier too than uh, uh, than 60 frames per second. It's not necessarily there's not necessarily motion blur for 24 frames per second. There's there's more motion blur if you if you do it. I mean, depends if you have the shutter speed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there, well, there, but there's generally more motion blur than 60 frames because. Okay. You know, if it's a particular fast motion, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to get blurred across a couple frames. Like, yeah. You're not going to be able to catch it. Mm -hmm. um, 60 frames per second will have less motion blur in general um, at a given shutter speed and all that than mm -hmm. 24 frames. Uh, there's more images per second, so you're seeing more stuff per, uh, you know, second. So, yeah. I mean, that, and that seems you're like... Seeing, you're seeing so many instances of my yeah. hand going from here to here. Whoa! It's smooth. Yeah. Smooth. And I mean that seems like it, that should be like a, a benefit, right? Yeah. Like you're getting you're seeing more of the image. There's less of these you know artifacts of like motion blur. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's some there's some strobing effects that can happen on 24 frames too, mm -hmm. um, that are, don't happen as much in 60 frames. So like you know argument over 60 Done. frames per second Better. is the best. It is. And uh, every movie ever made from now on yeah. should be in 60 frames Ab per second. Absolutely. Um, 
So, but I disagree. Th- yeah. So, like, there's there's sort of a the, there's a a personal uh, bias here. Yeah. Right. I mean, I get some people get really passionate about this. I've mm-hmm. had angry comments on Wheezy Waiter videos about about using twenty four. I've had people like swearing at me that like like not not like giving an oath, but swearing using swear words at me uh, to to move up to sixty frames per second. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it, it, I think. Because I think it because it does come from that sort of personal choice, you know, like you have mm-hmm. like a, it, it's an aesthetic, you know, you, that you're mm-hmm. going for. True. Um, it really has nothing to do with usually nothing to do with like, you know, everybody needs to have more frames, you know, mm-hmm. everything needs to be smoother, whatever. It's it's a personal choice because like 24 frames, almost every movie you've ever seen is mm-hmm. 24 frames per second. Yep. So that's my that, phone. Uh, I will tell you why this is my personal choice. Probably. This is a speculation. I don't... There could be something that's just inherently uh, uh, interesting about 24 frames per second. Or it could just be... When I grew up, uh, uh, you know, movies were 24 frames per second. And I was shooting on little video. And video... Every time I shot on my little crappy camera, I'm always like... Why does it not look like a movie? Yeah. This sucks. Yeah. I had and the then, same problem. And I'm, I, yeah, I know we have the same the same issue and, and it was 30 frames per second and then finally when cameras came out that could do digital cameras came out that could do 24 frames per second it's like <gasps> yeah it was it, it was like, like a movie it finally can yeah. look correct yeah you know it didn't matter you know, you're a kid you're like trying everything you're like yeah, obviously you have bad lighting it's a crappy camcorder mm-hmm. but there's a certain uh just like something a quality of the of the of the video that's just not right you're looking mm-hmm. at it and like this doesn't look right and it's, it's 60 frames per second or even anything higher than 24 I, I still see the what I I see is just like crappy cam. Cool. Yeah, I see it. I see it as cheap and <laughs> yeah. dumb, and it's not. This isn't a movie. It's a, it's a soap opera. It's yeah. you know it's somebody's home video. It's yeah. behind the scenes. Uh, yeah. you know of of the movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's something about it. Like I think it actually it is like in a way like it makes it seem more real, and I mm-hmm. think that's what people like. But uh, to me, it, it makes it seem too real. Like it, it's yeah. like showing me. It doesn't. Like, it doesn't necessarily seem that real to me. I don't know because when I see you moving around, like you are, mm-hmm. it doesn't look the same as watching 60, 60 frames per second to me. That's true, and I think this is something that uh, the other producer Ryan brought up. Yeah. Is that his theory was that because there's less frames, that maybe our brain is sort of filling in the gaps more. So there's mm-hmm. more like imagination, like at mm-hmm. work with a twenty-four frame uh, movie, than like something that's like filling in all that for you. And so it does like take away like any that a sort of any like a there's a sort of interactive uh, mm-hmm. thing happening with like movies because our that, brains are subconsciously filling in the gaps, yeah. which is more makes it makes it, makes us more engaged. That's Ryan's theory. He may have read that somewhere. Yeah, uh, like, so we're actively uh, sort of creating the the movie mm-hmm. um, when the movie is playing. That's a possible uh, possible. That's a possibility. I don't know. Uh, Honestly, I think it's probably just my. I, I know Ryan disagrees, but I think it's probably just my own personal experience. I think mm-hmm. I think it, someday it could be very possible that it's all sixty frames per second, and we all get used to it, and then twenty four frames per second will look weird. Yeah. Uh, although uh, Douglas Trumbull, the he's famous for doing special effects on two thousand one. Mm-hmm. He's been a big advocate of sixty frames per second, mm-hmm. uh, and he's. I was reading about he did this experiment where he was uh, subjecting people to different frame rates and he uh, apparently whenever he shows something in 60 frames per second it would elicit the strongest emotional response Hmm. so it was actually according to his experiments 60 frames per second is actually more effective as a as a medium interesting but I don't feel that way I'm interested (laughs) I'm interested to know what you have to say on the subject uh a lot of you are younger than us. Mm-hmm. You know, I think there's an age gap too. Yeah, and I think maybe younger people might. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to stereotype, but possibly more young people will be into sixty frames over twenty four. Yeah, well, I think maybe uh, they they grew up with it more. Right, and I'm also interested to see what Ryan has to say on the subject, because <laughs> uh, I I might disagree with him in, 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 on this issue. Um, do we want to move on to answering comments now? Um, sure. Uh, I, we also have to, I have to thank my dad. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I, have to, I have to mention my dad's comment. Okay. My dad made a comment on Facebook about the previous topic town about, uh, electrophonic hearing. 
Um, in it, I said that uh, as a kid, I heard the Aurora Borealis. I didn't think I actually heard it. I thought my brain was like making up a sound mm -hmm. to put with it. But my dad um, commented and and reminded me that uh, in the the buyer cabin where I saw the Northern Lights, there's there was a security light that was always broken and it would buzz incessantly. <laughs> And I think I think that's probably what I heard. That's what you heard. And in in the memory, you know, of like the you know, my, my memory degraded over time, and that that sound was left in there. Mm -hmm. And now I remember it as being the sound of the Northern Lights. Your dad, your dad <laughs> has good detective work. Yeah, he, he should does. be a lawyer. Yeah, my dad's good at. Uh, he is a lawyer. Poking holes in my stories. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's answer some questions. Uh, uh, a second. Okay, making sure we're still recording. That's good. So, in the last video, we picked out a few questions to answer. We're going to try to do this more often. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, these are simple questions, but uh, but we're going to answer them. Um, we picked only the simple questions. Yeah, because we don't have we don't we don't like to think deeply about yeah. things. Uh, clip culture five. Yeah, clip culture five. Uh, Was this discussion rehearsed? He was wondering if the last. A video we rehearsed. We don't rehearse these no. ever. No. We have we never do, rehearsed I, these. I do make I do make notes about what to talk about. Yeah, I mean, lately he's been making more notes. Uh, more, ex really, we've gotten better at preparing, I guess, beforehand. <laughs> but uh, I just show up. <laughs> I don't even I don't even make notes because I'm, <laughs> I'm lazy. I show up. He shows up with notes like we're going to talk about this. We sit down and we talk. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the way it works every time. We've never we've never rehearsed it beforehand. Yeah, oh, maybe uh, we should though. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. I think we might. That might ruin the magic, Matt. Uh, then another question from Doom, Doom Ham One Hundred. Doom Ham One Hundred. I'm hoping to see some quantum physics in the Seeing Is Not Believing playlist. So we talked about quantum physics in uh, what did we talk about quantum physics in the, the last video? Well, we were talking about seeing it isn't believing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That we were going to have a playlist coming up that seeing it isn't believing. Oh, we didn't talk about quantum physics. No. He, they were just wants, guessing. Uh, yeah. He or she wants to uh, see quantum physics. Call him Ham. Ham. Ham wants to see quantum physics. Well, uh, not to spoil the party or anything, but unfortunately... There's a, there's, there's, there's a, there's a probability that there will be some quantum physics and yeah. the scene isn't there, believing. In fact, there will be. We 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 interviewed. Might as well tell him. We interviewed a. Uh, oh yeah, Professor uh, Leonard Suskind. Yeah, Leonard Suskind, a renowned physicist. Yeah. Quantum physicist. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really good. We went to his house. We went to his house. <laughs> yeah. We barged in yeah. and said, "Hey, let's talk for a while." And it, it was, was great. It was great, and that will be in Seeing Is Not Believing, mm -hmm. which is our uh, will be like probably the third playlist that comes out for the good stuff. If you're confused about even what we're talking about. The, yeah. This if you just come here for Topic Town, we do a show on this channel called The Good Stuff that we're working on. Uh, uh, ceaselessly, and, yeah. uh, and we have a bunch of playlists. Incessantly, incessantly, <laughs> and we have a bunch of playlists that we're working on that will come out in the next in the coming months. This is this is what we do in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, seeing is not believing. We'll have quantum physics. Uh, also, while we're on the topic of the good stuff, if you want, we have a subable cam cam campaign going on. Subable dot com slash good stuff if you want to contribute to our efforts for the good stuff yeah and you can get some awesome perks as yes. they call it mm -hmm. uh like uh, there's a there's a poster there's some postcards yep there's a soundtrack for the first season's uh sound uh soundtrack the music mm -hmm. that we use it's great stuff you can get yep check it out and um and help us make more good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you might go there and be like, you might watch this and be like, well, they don't need any money. There's just two dudes sitting here talking. We're not, we're not, this channel is going to have other things. Yeah, that we're, that do cost. <laughs> we're, we're doing a lot of travel. We're, doing, we're getting a lot of equipment and a lot of a lot of working hours. Yeah. So anyway, but you don't have to. You can just watch and enjoy. And uh, we're going to go back to 24 frames per second from now on. Yeah. I I, I feel weird. I feel kind of yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. All right. It's not my thing. Bye. Bye.